Hello. After our uh, fire admin is up and running, it's time to set up our menu. Initially, it will look something like this. So first you will have the dashboard, here you will have the push notifications, and by default comes one file called all data, one navigation, all data, at the moment it's empty. Okay, so let's learn how to add, uh, to set up our navigation. First of all, this is our database at start, it's completely empty. So in the examples I have created a demo schema here, or you can use, of course, your own schema, or the data that you already have in your database. Uh, so we have three types of uh, pages. This is the dashboard page, the push page, and the fire admin page. So this is the dashboard, the fire admin, and the push notification page. And those are uh, set up in app.js in the navigation part here. So this is the dashboard, fire admin, all data, and the push notifications. They have link, so for the dashboard will be slash, the name of the navigation, the name of the menu, schema, it's null, since it's on the dashboard, then in icon, this is the home icon, and the icon is this one. The icon are used from material design icons. You can check them here. So let's say I will want to use code, for example. If I change the icon to code, the navigation will change instantly. So you can see the, the change directly. Okay. Um, next, we are having a icon is index for the dashboard is true and path when it's not fire admin it's not a problem to be like this this is what's important this is the menu of the app you can use fire, Bay fire admin multiple times like this and first we will need to add some data in our database I will copy my example here So we will be, will be be building a nightclub app that lists multiple events from different clubs from different cities. Sorry, not export, but import. Okay, so we have our clubs in different cities, Belgrade, Skopje and Sofia. And in each city we have different events. So this is a one event, it has, sorry, this is the clubs, the name and the photos. Same in other sections. We have the events also separated by cities. We have the bookings, this is done by the users. And a static, which is list of our cities how many clubs it has, display name, and photos of that city. Okay, so if we go to our fire admin, when we go to all data, all the data is displayed, but this is not something that we want. So we, have, we want to have the events uh, in a menu, then clubs in a menu, and to display each uh, city in different sub-menu. So yeah, let's do this. Okay, I will create another menu here. So I will name this a menu events. And this will point to, let me see where, it will point to events. So I will have to copy just this part. Okay, events and the name will be also events, icon event and the table fields is something that we will display in our uh, tables. So this is by default name and description. You can add, add whatever you want there, whatever field you want to be displayed in the table. 
here is our events and when you clicked you will see that it goes directly in the events um, in the events part of our database but I will want to have a separate submenus for each location so for that I will need to create another field inside uh, this navigation that I will call sub items and this in fact it's an array of other items so I will copy for example this one so I will create two sub items and the link will be uh, so this will be for example Scopia events this will be Sophia events icon will stay the same icon or we can change let's find another icon okay let's set alarm in one of them and to display the correct events I will need to click on Scopia so this is the path I want to access Scopia and the other one will be Sofia. Okay, if we go to our menu now, uh, we'll see in the documentation how it's the correct name submenus. Okay, and we have our submenus here so Scopia and Sofia. So clicking on Scopia, it displays our uh, data there that we have items but we can go directly if we modify uh, Scopia items same for Sofia okay so if we click on Scopia we will get directly to the items inside them okay and yeah let's create another menu I will copy this one all data and then paste it here I will create it for example uh, I will name it cities um, let's say city don't know if that icon exists no yep city location city let's try this and it access our uh, all our data that's why both of the menus are selected so for this case I will need this element cities so you can see how it's directly accessed you don't need to be a root element and yeah I will use that cities and I'll put the path here so that's it and this will display our cities here yeah we have Belgrade, Skopje and Sofia so I clicking on that field will edit our display our cities so this is how we handle our uh, navigation I think it's clear what are the possibilities so you can access whatever level of menu you want you can even work directly with just one string if you need and yeah you can try it to work with your schema without problem thanks